This video is sponsored by Flying Eagle, which is the company that makes these off-road frames that I'm going to be using in this video. And if you want to see how someone is going to get these frames, make sure to watch the video till the end. YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. That thing that you see right there, well, there's like a, a mountain bike trail, a free ride trail. I don't know what to call that shit, but basically what's going to happen is me and Samuel are going to skate with off-road skates. So we're going to start with <laughs> these things. This company sent me this thing a couple months ago and I never really used it. So let's try it out. Needs to be a two person operation. Go. Very good, very nice. I actually don't know about the price. And now let me show you how some good skates, some, off, some good off road skates look like <sighs> see this is how some good off-road skates look like I need hair I don't think I do but I'm gonna put some hair on my wheels too Sam is skating 125 and I'm gonna be skating with one one something 150 this is a flying eagle frame which is by the way the sponsor of this video <laughs> <laughs> this is the terra frame yeah when you have a good frame you can do it alone <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sam aka macgyver check this out <laughs> <laughs> Next time we eat a yogurt, you know, we're working with tools. <laughs> Ready to go. See you in the forest. Boom. <sighs> this shit, they're so bad. Just to skate in normal floor to get all the way up here. We got to the Mountain bike track, BTT means mountain bike, bicicleta, to the terreno. And now we're about to get to the trails. It's gonna be F Sam's first time on off road skates and he's expecting to be able to use them like mountain bike. Oh my god, I'm already regretting. It's so hot. Most people think they buy these skates and then they're going to be like the new Brandon Semenuk of, of inland skates. <sighs> Let's see. Ah, oh, that's easy. I was expecting it to be harder. Cameraman also needs protection. It's the sketchiest to be the cameraman here. <laughs> if the guy in front of you falls, <laughs> I don't know what happens. But let's try to not find out. Stay there and let's see if it happens. It's a nice view, huh? It's a nice view, but I am gonna give you the best view. Let's go, Sam. You go up the berms, all I can think is like, I hope one of his feet don't go out. Yeah. Because it's like, woohoo! Maybe let's go, the two of us. You come behind me now. 
Mm -hmm. And I'll keep the camera. No, I'll come. I pick the camera and we film both. Okay, okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. We give you a different view, so you can see two on the track. And now he's going to experience what I've been watching, which is going behind, <laughs> which totally sucks. You can't see <laughs> shit. You can't choose the track. On bikes, they do this all the time. Yeah. It looks so much fun. <laughs> it looks. Let's get it. Let's go. Felt like it's lighter there. Yeah. A bit. O conceito disto é os pneus parece que vão sair das rodas. Maybe they're too soft. Yeah. Maybe we need to put some air. Let's check. Let's check if we need to put some more air. New trail. Let's get this. But I'll be free on the weekends for sure. Ryan Shallow rather hop in your deep and me and more. She is sure. Shout out to the thing you lean on. Uh. I don't take a thing too light. So when you like me, we doing your thing. I know you right. Been a minute since I met you by now. I know you right. Like a motherfucker. Fuck what they saying. I hold you tight. Told the world I need a break like a drum roll. So the danger there is that that tree is so low that when it jump from here, you can hit the tree. And the whole thing after. It's quite sketchy. You got an attitude, but that's your style. Maybe if I could get up in your latitude somehow, then we could put the past back where it belongs for now. I don't know if you guys can see how sketchy this thing is, but this thing is proper sketchy like this is just like the jump that it did under the tree right there and then it comes over here and then there it's just like it's not a joke He's losing the wheel. You broke it. I don't know. I was trying. I was thinking about it on one side. And we got to the part in the end of the video that I give the frames away to someone that needs them more than I do. They're yours. Go. <laughs> yeah. Go. <laughs> So Sam has been struggling because his frames are extremely yeah. slow and the wheels are the wheels are breaking and all that. So because Flying Eagle sponsored this video, I was able to give him the frames. I said yours. <laughs> okay, next thing you're gonna see is the skates with the frames. Okay, so this is some well set up, the one that he was using, and this is like a micro delta F with one of the first prototypes from power slide for the SUV frames these allow him to use 125 and it looks okay it's like size wise and all that looks okay but it really makes a huge difference to go off-road with that other frame from Flying Eagle it's actually way stiffer and the wheels they just roll better it's just weird it kind of feels like these are very fragile Boom! And this is a beast of a setup. Look at that. <laughs> it actually looks nice. 
Next thing you know, when it tries to jump, it lands after the... <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit heavier. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit heavier. Mm -hmm. It needs to be heavier. Yeah, you see. But still, for this type of skating, it really makes a huge difference. And you can also see the difference in wheelbase. It's gonna be different. It's different to turn, but it's also like having a bigger wheelbase will also help you a lot when there's like <laughs> little holes or little yeah. roots. Because in the roots, that was not. That good. Got it? Does it roll better? <laughs> it's better? Yeah, no, there's gonna be fits. Okay, the next video we're gonna see with Sam in this place is gonna be with Sam running on 125. It's, I don't know if I said it in this video up until now, but it was his first time ever trying SUV or off-road skate, which is amazing. He never did it before and he was way better than me and that's why I felt like I had to give the frame away. Like I'll I'll have a chance to get another one of these, but this guy needs to have like a frame that will allow him to get even better. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, thank you to Flying Eagle for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the top of the description where you can get basically all their gear. Just go check it out. It's another way for you to say thank you to Flying Eagle for supporting what I'm doing here. And yeah, with that being said, don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Now cheers and see you soon.